Right, we've got uh, four straight line graphs up here. Okay, we're given the equations and we're asked five questions about them essentially. So uh, question 2a says, circle the line that passes through 7, 2. So if I swap x for 7 into each and y equals 2, right, whichever one works. So if I did um, 2 times 7 is 14 minus 4 times 2, which is, uh, is not 5, so it's not P. 5 times uh, 2 is 10. 2 times X, uh, 2 times 7 is 14 minus 4. Oh, look at that, it's Q. So there we go. So that's the first one. Circle line with gradient 2.5. So I need to essentially uh, rearrange all of these to into Y equals MX plus C. All right. And so the first one, if I go, if I rearrange the first one into y equals mx plus c, I should get a gradient of uh, 2. So it's not that one. Uh, second one, I go to a gradient of, let's have a look, divide that by 5, or oh, 2 fifths. Okay, so it's not that one. R, if I rearrange that, divide it all, oh, 2 and a half. There you go, 2 and a half. And just for curiosity's sake, all right, uh, that's going to be minus a half. Okay, so it's going to be this one. Now then, next one, circle line with y intercept um, two and a half. Now then, again, y equals mx plus c is going to be crucial. So we're going to be looking at y equals mx plus c here. Okay, and we're looking at the um, the bit the the bit that's not the coefficient of x essentially. So here we go. So 5 over 2 for that one, there you go, well it is that one. Just out of curiosity, you should have got 4 fifths for that one, should have got 2 for that one, and should have got 5 quarters for that one. Okay, good, circle the line with a negative gradient. Again, we need y equals mx plus c, it's very important this y equals mx plus c thing, isn't it? Okay, and the one with a negative coefficient of x, so it's not going to be P, it's not going to be R, it's not going to be Q, it's got to be S. So there you go. And then the next, and the, the sorry, the final one I should say, um, should be uh, which ones are perpendicular. Now you get perpendicular when the two gradients multiply to make uh, minus one. So I've already done the... Uh, Already done the um, the gradients up here, haven't I? For that, and the two that multiply to make minus one. Well, that's Q. Sorry, that is. Uh, hold on, let's have a look. It is Q and uh, R, I think, isn't it? No, it's not. I tell a lie. It's sorry. Oh, I misread this one here. That's minus a half, isn't it? So it should be two times minus a half should give you uh, minus one, okay? So there you go, remember negative reciprocal and all that, so uh, just be a little bit careful there. But y equals mx plus c is absolutely crucial for that entire question.